Hey guys, MTN here with a quick video. I didn't plan on uploading today, but I felt like I had to upload something. Uh, another, another RP video will be out tomorrow, but today I'm gonna show you something interesting that I've recently learned. When you start Unturned, you can see that people have these different screenshots that Nelson just added, like that people can send in the screenshots and they, then he adds it to loading screens in Unturned. And you didn't get in if you sent some screenshots. But today I'm gonna show you how you can get your own screenshot showing here when loading in on Unturned. It's very, very simple and I'm gonna teach you how you can customize it as well. Anyways, I'm gonna show you how you can use your own screenshot here. So first of all, you wanna locate your library here in Steam. Right click on Unturned, go to properties, go to local files, browse local files. I can close this real quick. Now when you're in here, you wanna go to screenshots. It's fairly simple to find. It's just in this folder and there's a lot of different screenshots here. But you can see here I already have my own here which I don't need to use it's co it has caffeination on it but I'm just gonna remove that one we don't need to have it there and I'm gonna show you how you can basically get your own you can probably understand the idea on how you do it but basically um, I just want to open one of these in Photoshop or paint.net or anything uh, you don't have to do it it's just if you want to customize it for an example if I would like to customize let's say this one you don't have to do the same thing but I'm gonna quickly open it in Photoshop I already have Photoshop open so it should be fairly simple to open gonna fit on screen uh, and for example if I would love to add a text here coffee nation you dudes of course I'm gonna have you there why wouldn't I I just want to do that, so I will see you guys in a second when I have finished uh, this picture, pretty much. So there we go, I'm done with my picture. You want to keep it as the same size as the pre pre like any picture. Like, uh, for example, if you don't know the size of these pictures, you can just right click on them, go to properties. Go to uh, details and you can see it's 3840 by 2160. That is in pixels, not centimeters or anything. So make sure it is 3840 pixels on the width and on height 2160. Otherwise, I don't think it's gonna work. But now that we have that done and I want this picture, which is um, the correct resolution, uh, I could just um, go here, remove everything here and just save this picture here. Uh, I think it doesn't matter what we save it. I think we can save it as a PNG. Let's just change it, save it as a JPG G instead. Put it on maximum, you know. Gotta get that high call it in. Uh, I think we can close it. Now you can see we have it called Washington Road. I think we could call it... Um, let's just name it Harambe. And now we want to go ahead and launch and turn and see how it goes. Did you notice I have 666 hours on turn? Pretty dank. Illuminati shit. Anyways, we're gonna open it here real quick, and if it is as I have calculated... I didn't calculate that. I could just predict it's gonna load Harambe right now. Just look at that. That's beautiful. Harambe. <laughs> but in all seriousness, that's the only thing you have to do to actually change your loading screen. You can just use any picture as long as it is in the correct resolution. If you don't know the resolution, if you didn't, if you skipped basically where I said it, it will show on the screen right now. That's the resolution you want your picture to be in for it to work in Unturned. Otherwise, if you want to take your own screenshot in Unturned and you don't want to use like, you don't want to use F12. Like that, the Steam thing here. That's gonna just take it in your monitor's resolution, which is 1920 by 1080. You wanna go in, for an example, on Unturned. Let's go for uh, Washington here. Let's just choose Washington, because it was already there. Um, so it should be just fairly, start to, fairly quick to start it. Uh, let's just load. What the f- What the- I- Guys, I am not even in this plane, it's just glitched. What the hell? What? <laughs> okay, that's not what I meant. But okay, for example, we can just go zoom in on my picture. We can put it as uh, time 10. Uh, where's the sunset? Uh, we want to look this way. There we go. So we can get this cool ass screenshot. You want to go to your insert button, which is the default button. If you don't know where it is, you want to go to your arrows on your keyboard. And just up, you should find the uh, home button, delete, and the page down page. I can't show you, goddammit. You see here? You can't see it really good, but these are my arrows. And here we have six buttons. Insert, home, page up, page down, and a delete. You're going to press the insert button. It will take a screenshot like you see in the corner, like a normal Steam screenshot. 
but it's not that one that you want. To find this screenshot, you basically want to right click on Unturned Properties, Local Files. Is this going to open something here? Oh, local files, browse local files. You can find this screenshot thing here, copy that, go to screenshots, for an example, delete Harambe, paste this in, now you have your screenshot, if we open it, this is probably not gonna work because Windows 10 is fucked up for me. But you can see here that I have this screenshot that I just took in uh, Unturned, launch Unturned, play, and yes, as you know, I know how to do it, as you can trust MTN, it's gonna load in Unturned because when you take a screenshot with the insert button, it is gonna take the screenshot in the correct resolution for it to be working as a loading screen and unturned. So let's just see if this works, so I am not wrong. It would kind of, kind of be embarrassing if it wouldn't work. So here we go, that's my character that, like, I could just use this, it's actually pretty cool. I will be using uh, a custom one, I'm not sure, I'm probably gonna put some time into making it, but this is how you can change your loading screen, and this is a tutorial by me, MTN. If you want to enjoy it, make sure to slap a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next one. Stay coffee, everyone. Bye-bye.